Well, hello everyone, this is Kimberly here and welcome to the channel. Today's video is a G curtain review and a master bath tour. Now guys, when G curtain reached out to me, I was excited because this curtain rod is beautiful. So I'm gonna share a few things about this curtain rod. It is easy to put up. G curtain is a single rod hardware set and it adjusts to 26 inches to 48 inches with design finials with a mirror finish. It has adjustable brackets and maximum flexibility. It can be placed on a window or even over fridge doors. This classic in vogue design is beautiful and complements any room. It has superior craftsmanship. It's made out of stainless steel and supports more than 50 pounds, guys. Now you see here my husband is installing this over my bathroom window. Here it is guys, it is beautiful. I love how this looks. And again, it was easy to install. And here it is. I'm gonna give you a tour of my master bath. I'm gonna move away from the window and start to the left here with these pictures that I DIY'd myself using frames that I picked up from Ross, these mirrored frames. And then the pictures itself is actually pictures that came out of pictures, if I can say that, that I did of my family with my family tree coming down my staircase. I saved things and reused them. So when I saw when I saw these pictures, I knew I could reuse them and I was gonna use them in at least one of my bathrooms. Next, I'm gonna move over to this wall unit here. Uh, I had in my previous home and decided to keep it and utilize it and I just have decorative towels on it, a couple of uh, boxwood balls on some Dollar Tree pots. Then I move over here to the window with the G-Rod. These curtains here came from Home Goods. I picked them up clearance for $12, guys. They are beautiful. I love the charcoal gray with the white design in them. Move over to the right are these three mirrors here that I actually picked up from Dollar General a while back here. And I love how they look over this unit here that I picked up from Walmart to hold my towels. Now I do have a linen closet, but the linen closet itself is in my bedroom. And I wanted a I wanted a unit back here to hold everything, and this is perfect. Again, I picked this up from Walmart and bought the boxes as well, the decorative storage boxes to put in them as well. Here are my towels here, and I have showed how I stack my towels. I fold my towels and put my washcloths in between. Here again are those boxes, those storage boxes. I have marked hers and his. Then I have toilet tissue or have it marked tissue 
for bathroom tissue, and then a miscellaneous box. But this unit right here is perfect for this area. Now moving over to my, my sink area, which is my least favorite area in here, and it will be changed. It might not be changed this year, possibly next year, but it is on the to-do list. Um, this mirror we have here, the, the wood trim, I do not like the color. I do not like the sink top itself. Um, guys, we moved into this home in September and we're slowly but surely, we have accomplished a lot, but we still have a few things to tweak and uh, replacing the countertop and possibly the vanity is on the list. But I do have it decorated somewhat. I don't like too much clutter on my vanity. So you see a towel, a hand towel holder here. I have a lamp, again, one of those boxwood balls and a candle on my vanity area or on my sink area. And then off to the side here is mouthwash, hand soap, and a toothbrush holder. But again, this area will change, and when I do change it, yes, I will show you what I change it to. standing by my sink area looking uh, the other on the other end of this room I'm going to show you what where our shower and the toilet area is it is combined and I'm taking you in there right now showing this shower curtain also from home goods white with the gray design there this candle holder here I picked up from my SPCA thrift store for one dollar. These frames here I picked up from Goodwill and then I put the Dollar Tree placemat in as a picture. Simple but beautiful. have towels here hanging on the towel rod itself keeping it very simple now guys this is the hallway leading to my master bathroom to the right here is our closets the first one is my closet the second one is my husband's closet to the right there and then to the left this opening here is my tub area my garden tub and I haven't done too much to this area again I'm keeping it simple and I really don't use this area it has gotten more use of this uh, past couple of weeks with my nephew being here but I and my hubby are shower people <laughs> so we don't really use this too much but I keep it simple here and uh, the items that I have in here, I've had in my previous home. The sconces I had, the picture I remember I found at Family Dollar and I only paid probably $3 at the most for that picture. And then the shelf itself, I featured that in one of my Goodwill, uh, $5 Goodwill challenges. And 
this mat here and all the towels that you see in this color came from Sam's Club. But guys, this is my master bathroom tour. Not quite like I want it yet. Some things I want to tweak, you know, designing your, your home or uh, decorating your home is, is um, an ongoing job. You always want to make changes. You always want to make tweaks. And I will be doing more in this space real soon. I would like to thank G Curtain for giving me the opportunity to review their curtain rod. I think it's beautiful and just upped the ante in my bathroom. It's a beautiful curtain rod and I would tell others to go out and purchase this rod. That is the end of this video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, and share. And if you have not done so, I would love for you to become a part of the Diva family by pushing that subscribe button and subscribing to the channel. I can also be found on other social media sites, which are Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, as well as Twitter. The links to those social media sites, they will be listed in the description box down below. Again, thank you. So much for watching you take care you be blessed and i will see you on the next video bye bye guys